When you buy a Skahoi controller, you do not just buy a single controller, you buy potential to combine them into new control experiences involving many pieces. So for instance, with the PVC Pro, which we'll be looking at today, you could combine it with a Frameshot Pro that will allow you to have visual preset recall on these buttons with a color display over them. The cool thing about this is that you have big displays with a um, very good um, a viewing angle on the displays, but you can also combine it with a Stream Deck, and that's actually what we'll be doing today. So with me here, apart from the PVC Pro, then I also have the Stream Deck, and I have an X-Keys foot pedal. So we'll do cruise control and visual preset recall with Stream Deck and X-Keys foot pedal. So how are they connected to the PVC Pro? Well, they are uh, attached to a USB hub, which provides power to these, uh, because if you have many of these USB devices, you cannot power them out of your Skahoi device. You need a powered USB uh, hub, but that's uh, easy to get and many has proven compatible. And then they go into the backside of your unit. So on the back of Skahoi products, the XC series in particular, we call this the XC series. That's the kind of form factor that looks like this. That's uh, most of the controllers we sell are in this kind of enclosure. And the, there you have the uh, Ethernet port, you have a DC jack, and you have a USB-A port for attachment of USB devices. In addition to that, you need to run a piece of software on your computer. So, um, uh, sorry, not on your computer, but on your uh, Skahoi device. In this case, we have the PVC Pro, where on the packages, you can see the X panel X keys and the X panel Stream Deck running, those are connecting these two devices, the uh, Stream Deck and the foot pedal into our PVC Pro. I also prepared the PVC Pro with two cameras. We have CIN 300 and 700, and they are visible through a window here. So this is the 300, oh, 100. But, um, and then we have the CIN 700 in our showroom, in our headquarters here in Copenhagen. So I'm at my home office right now. One camera is in my home office. The other one is in uh, the headquarters. Doesn't matter, we have a VPN that connects it all together, which also shows that Skahoi technology can work across VPNs with the latency that's typically involved and so on. We even have an ASIM switcher in uh, LA, I think. So if I add device here, you will probably find that we have some ATEM switcher from Tyler in Los Angeles popping up on the screen in a moment. That's usually what happens unless you turned it off, but uh, let's just see. Let's search for Tyler, <sighs> Tyler's LA ATEM. So this is thousands of kilometers away, still attaching to my blue pill technology here in Copenhagen, pretty cool. Anyway, that's the, the, besides the point. This foot pedal I'll put on the floor because this is where I'll be needing it for our demonstration. The point is that you can involve more than just your hands in your production. And today we'll be using uh, my foot as a way to keep a camera moving in a creep zoom scenario. So that's what we'll be looking at. Now, let's just check that this whole thing works. The idea of having this on the screen is that it's kind of easy for me to show you that uh, things are moving around. So let's just have these two windows open so we can see what's going on. And then over here, I can now go to my simulation tool. In the simulator, I have camera selector. So I can select the first camera, move over to the joystick. And then if I grab the joystick in this virtual form, you can see I'm able to move my camera around here. So let's do that. CIN 700, zoom out. Can we do something with that? Let's try a creep zoom, for instance. I can do a creep zoom. You see it's working right now. Okay, stop. Now let's go back to the to the homepage because I want to add the um, stream deck and the foot pedal as well. What I want to do is to basically pick a different default configuration. See, Skahoi default configurations are super cool because when you pick a configuration like generic PVC control, you actually still get specific PVC control for your cameras. In the uh, oh wait 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 uh, go over to the simulation page here. Then um, these are menu buttons that as I am selecting the different menus. On the controller, you see different things in the displays which are associated with the rotary encoder knobs you can use to um, to basically change these settings, like I can go focus mode, manual, and auto, forth and back here, go back to iris, auto, manual, etc. So that's that's how Skahoi controllers work. And as I'm changing between cameras, these um, uh, the, the configurations can actually be unique. You can also mix and match Canon cameras with Sony cameras, Panasonic, Bird Dog, whatever you want, can all be mixed and matched and have individual controls in these. The configuration that makes maps all this down onto the buttons is what you get with the generic PC control. So we highly recommend that to make it easy for you. But you can still customize because if you go to our um, 
engine here, then if you pick a configuration, you can actually see different sections. You have something called Canon XC camera adjustment section. And if you go into that, you see the pages for the home screen, the exposure, the white balance, the back, um, black focus modes, all these pages are available for you. And if you click the encoders, you can change it over here in the inspector. So we already prepared ability for you to customize and extend. And if you want to do something completely on your own on top of it, you just choose the user section. You can now pick any button. And on top of that button, you can assign navigation, system settings. You can uh, pick individual behaviors from your switches and routers and so on. By the way, if Tyler Switcher is such a cool device, then why not add it to our little setup here. So come on, Tyler's ATEM switcher in Los Angeles. There we go. Yes, it was worth the wait. All right, so we're connecting to Tyler's ATEM. Yeah, and we go back to configuration. We're in the user section. We can click this button. We don't use it for anything. So we want that to be attached to Tyler's ATEM in Los Angeles and maybe do a cut just to mess with his brain over there. He doesn't know what's happening. I'm sitting here in Europe and controlling his precious hardware. All right, so uh, quickly, ME1 cut on Tyler's ATEM. Ah, so we just combined all these things and sorry for the little detour, but I just wanted to let you know that we have super cool configuration tool where you can do these page space paradigms like I just showed you for uh, customizing, changing the default configurations, but also adding new stuff on top of it. But if you change this over to one of the other default configurations, like the one called Stream Deck plus Cruise Control, generic PC control, we're kind of adding a little bit to it. So in this dialog, I'll just add a new panel. We'll search on the network, discovering panels. It is finding the Stream Deck on the network. I'm selecting it and immediately as I do, it is connected. And you can see it changed uh, on this, on the Stream Deck, it has now one and two. So I'm able to uh, now page between these. So this is already enabled for visual presets. We'll get back to that in a moment. I also want to add my foot pedal. So let's just quickly go and do that. In this case, it is searching for Stream Deck panels, uh, a um, uh, X keys foot switch, and also this uh, foot switch from Delcom. Uh, in this case, it doesn't pop up. So maybe I'll just go check here if my X keys um, is detected. It looks like it is not finding anything in the lock here, but let's just quickly restart. Oh, there we go. And um, Oh, wait, I turned it off. Okay, I'm just turning it on. So we'll see. So my USB hub has nifty small buttons to turn things on and off. Now in the log, it actually says that it finds the XK3 foot pedal from X keys. And on my home screen, I should now be able to add this panel and find it on the network as the network device it now is selected. And it's also added in here. Okay, so um, still the PVC Pro is actually uh, being simulated, but the other two are real. And the first thing I want to do is to check, is my simulation, is my foot pedal working? You see also, by the way, the Stream Deck and the X Keys foot pedal is now on my canvas with my PVC Pro. The Stream Deck is there showing the two pages that I had on it. We'll see in a moment that it's being populated with nice color images of presets I can recall. And there we have my foot pedal where the left key is the default that is being used for my uh, cruise control. Let's try cruise control. First, we have the CIN300 selected. We'll use the joystick to move the camera slowly to the side. Now I use my left foot to press the foot pedal and I'm hands on, hands off, and I release the pedal and the camera stops, all right? Let's try it again. But then this time, I want to show you why cruise control makes so much sense. So I'll do a creep zoom. So I started here on the joystick, it's zooming slowly. I'm holding down the foot pedal, hands off. What I do now is to change over to the CRN 700. I'm moving this camera around. Notice that the other camera is still zooming slowly. I could also recall a preset of whatever I want. And now I would make a switch on my video switcher. And the moment I have switched over to the CRN 700, I can release the foot pedal and the first camera stops. All right, so now we are back on the CRN 700. Maybe we want to make a a slow pan to the side. I press the foot pedal down. Now it keeps panning. I'm hands off again. I go back to the CIN 300. I can now move this in position, zoom out a little bit and whatever else I want to do. I can now find my video switcher and then I can make a switch over to the, I might actually even uh, pan a little bit. And then as I release the foot pedal, the CIN 700 stops while I'm actually still operating the CIN 
300, all right? So that's cruise control. I was using the foot pedal, my left foot, to to engage and disengage cruise control for the camera that is not selected. And in this way, you can kind of go forth and back and have a really efficient workflow with more production quality because you can keep your cameras moving despite not being able to control more than one at a time with the joystick. Pretty cool. Now let's look at the preset record. So this is where the stream decks come into the picture. And uh, we can see it here on the actual stream deck, but luckily our simulation tool also allows us to see it on screen. So we can do quite a lot, get quite far with this. Okay, so which camera are we at right now? We are at the CRN uh, 300. It would be super cool to just have everything in the one web browser here. Now, um, uh, of course I need to also navigate the camera a bit. I could use the web UI for that. Okay, so now I think we see everything. And uh, let's say that this preset is awesome. I'll just press and hold this one, this button. Uh, press and hold this one to actually store the preset and now you can see we have a little thumbnail and that thumbnail is also shown on the x keys of course sorry x keys stream deck uh, of course it is so let's just move the camera a little bit um let's see okay yeah all right so we want to store that i press and hold and now we have a second preset stored right here. So I can go to the first one. I have a little thumbnail that shows me what I get. I get the other one. I have a thumbnail that shows me what I get. And that is the cool thing about the Stream Deck. Or um, it could also be the Frameshop Pro. In a different video, I'll show you different options that exist. We, we have actually a bunch of them. But in this one, we are uh, trying to set something up with uh, USB devices, like the foot pedal and so on. Um, let's uh, just pick um, zoom out a little bit um, or in. Okay, that, that's like an absolute position thing. Okay, I'll just press and hold this one. And uh, I have a, another thumbnail stored. And then let's go to preset page number two. So you can have up to, to, to 20 presets like this. And if you think about it, this really enables you to use presets more efficiently because with color thumbnails, either on a Frameshift Pro, Stream Deck, or a touch solution, you are able to navigate your presets from a visual point of view instead of having small scribble strips and labels and whatnot to keep track of them. So it enables your volunteers to do more presets than you otherwise would be able to. This is why a second page of preset makes sense in the first place. So we can go between these two second and first, um, first and second page. And uh, on this one, let's just uh, find a different position for the camera. Uh, and yes, what a beautiful position. Is that one? I'll now press and hold to store preset on that second page. So now you see on the stream deck, we have that same thing and I can go to the first page and then to the second page and it's all reflected on this guy. So what about the other camera? What happens if I change over to the CIN 700? Well, your presets follow along. So now with the CIN 700, we need uh, this one, we can now store this uh, a preset here. So we press and hold uh, over here. Uh, let me see. Press and hold. And now we store a preset on this one. Okay. And then uh, let's move into a different position and then zoom in maybe a little bit. Okay. And we can press and hold to store a preset on this guy. Uh, zoom in a little bit more, a little more to the side. Okay, nice. Press and hold. Press and holding is like standard issue ways Skahoy would do preset storing on your uh, controllers. So I can build up a lot of nice presets quickly using this and being able to navigate them all. Skahoy showroom. Yes, let's put that in. And what do you think? On the Stream Deck, we see the exact same thing and it allows me to recall these presets one at a time and see the camera change around for them. And of course you have multiple pages. If I go back up here to the first camera, it is also changing here and we see those presets can now be recalled on the first one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is PTC Pro with a Stream Deck for visual preset recall and X keys foot pedal for cruise control, all combined and easily accessible simply using the, sorry, the um, default configurations that we are making where we have added some where you have stream, stream deck and cruise control directly supported by something you just select here on the side. So these 
three panels are coming together in one cohesive solution. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel if you want to stay in touch with our technology and the developments here in Innovation Lab. I am Casper. I'm the uh, owner and founder and everything else of Skahoy. My talented team has made many of these things possible. Me myself is also a programmer, so I have had all my fun with uh, many parts of these things as well, which is why, of course, passion is spilling over all over the place in the technology we are providing to you guys. But uh, I really appreciate you following along and sending comments to innovationlab at skahoy.com anytime you have questions uh, or suggestions for what you would like us to focus on.